So the first thing we want to do is we're going to mark our block on the printed side with a pencil. This is kind of a simple block that we don't really have to, but let's go ahead and do it anyway so you get an idea of, of, of what you're going to do. And I would just mark on this one fabric one. Um, I can either put background or in this case I'm going to put fabric two. And I just put, you can see it here, fabric one, fabric two. Each corner is going to have uh, fabric two because the four outside corners are the same. And if you just get in the habit of doing this with every block before you start and deciding your colors, then you can get right down to sewing. So I've got fabric one and I've got fabric two in each of the corners. <clears throat> so we're going to be sewing from this side that has the lines on it so we've got to turn it over to put our fabric on. So our first fabric, which is fabric one, and and I've got a, a longer piece of fabric because it doesn't matter. You don't have to cut it down right to the right side. But I'm going to put it on the back of my block. And since it's such a big piece, that's where my little pins are going to come in handy. But I want to make sure that I pin somewhere that's not near my lines, my sewing lines. So I'm just going to pin at each end, top and bottom, or left and right. Well, let's do left and right. That'll be easier. My fabric is right side facing up towards me. And since I've used a long piece of fabric, I'm going to go ahead and trim this quickly. I'm just going to turn it, turn my mat, now turn it on the rotary cutter, and I'm just doing a little trim. Um, I don't need my ruler because I'm going to do it outside, away from my paper, so I can get rid of oh, the uh, rest of this fabric. I don't have it all flopping around. So I'm now I'm ready to start. I've got my fabric on the back side. My fabric is right side up. The first thing I want to look at is where is my number two. So here's my number two. Remember I said the, we're going to sew this line between one and two first. So I have to get rid of the fabric that's behind there. So I'm going to, let me see if I can get this in a direction that you can see it easily. I'm going to take my postcard. I'm going to lay it right on that line. The line between one and two. I'm going to flip my paper back. And it's against that postcard or cardboard as much as it can. I've got my add a quarter ruler. And remember, I've got that little um, bump there. And that bump goes right against the card, uh, cardstock or the postcard. Then I'm going to use my rotary cutter and cut that off. Now, when I turn it back over, Here's my uh, end, uh, the corner of my paper piece block. Here's the edge of my fabric. So when I put my first fabric on, let me grab a fabric. Can't get a hold of one here. I'm going to grab my fabric and I'm going to put it right side down. All your fabric now will be right side down because right side against right side of the first fabric. And I'm going to make sure that my two fabrics are right together, raw edges together. And I'll pinch this, turn it over, and I'm going to sew on this line. So let me get it ready. And you're going to see that I'm going to sew right on that line. I'm going to start a couple stitches before, and I'm just going to go a little bit past, like right about to my finger. A stitch or two past, because we have the tendency to stop and start a little sooner than we should, and then we don't have um, stitches all the way to the edge of our where our seam would be. my thread. 
so I've sewn my line um, right here. I've sewn, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, it's harder with the black, there we go. I've sewn right on that line. Now, here's my seam. I'm going to get my other junk out of the way here. I'm going to flip my, oh, back over here. I'm going to flip my fabric over. I'm going to make sure I don't want to get a crease here. So that's when I use my wooden iron, excuse me, dropped on the floor. And I'm just going to give it a little crease so that I make sure the I don't have a fold in my fabric. Now we're going to trim this. So I'm going to flip it over. And you can see how my paper is here on this edge. And I can easily, for the time being, I don't have to go through the whole process yet. I can just go up this edge and over as long as I'm not cutting my paper. Because we'll do a final trim at the end. And I'm going to find my number three. Remember I have to trim away my background fabric or my fabric one. So I'm going to put my postcard on the line. Fold my paper back over. Put my ruler on so it bumps up against that edge. And trim it away. Okay. Oops, oh, took my pin out. I put my pin back in. Then I'm going to put my fabric on again. In the other direction. I always flip it over to make sure I've got enough fabric. I'm going to use this side. I've got plenty here. I'm going to give it a little pinch. And I'm going to come over again. And come in a little closer for you. There we go. And I'm going to sew on that line. Taking a stitch or two past the line and cutting my thread. Okay. Again, I'm going to take my fabric, push it forward. Let me zoom back again. Oop, wrong way. There we go. Push it back. Make sure I don't have a folded piece there. I'm going to turn it over and I can quickly, I'm just going along the edge of my paper because we'll trim, again, we'll trim out the whole um, square when we're done. So next we're going to look for number four. So we're going to, I got see this pin's going to be in my way, so I'm going to move it over here because I don't want to run my rotary cutter over my pin. I need to get rid of this background or number one fabric. Oop. I'm going to place my postcard on the line, flip my fabric back. Make sure I use my add a quarter rule. If I just went across it with my rotary cutter, I'd have no seam allowance. And there's times we do things like that. So if you do it, oh, if you do it, it's not the end of the world. You just have to start a new block. Okay. Oh, drop my fabric. There we go. I'm going to lay my fabric again. Raw, raw edges together, give a little pinch, turn it over, and sew it.